good morning and welcome or welcome back to my channel lately i've been like super lazy i've been super tired i was at our school we have a week off right now and i've literally d been doing nothing but sleep edit and then occasionally go places not not necessarily bored but i really want to do something different so yeah that's what today's video is going to be so we're going to have a physical glow up and i'm really excited because today i'm gonna get a haircut finally i have not gotten a haircut in like five months um i've just been letting it grow and then i like cut it at my house by myself um and that was a catastrophe so i haven't fixed i haven't really fixed it since then my neighbor helped me fix it a little bit but i still actually want to go into a salon and fix it and then i also need to cut curtain bangs really bad this is not bangs anymore like they're supposed to be like up here or something am i right right and then i'm also gonna get my nails done i haven't gotten my nails done since the summer we're also gonna come home we're gonna like have a nice little self-care night skincare detox but i have to leave in an hour I'll come back when I have an outfit picked out, I'll show you guys my outfit, and then we're gonna head on over to the salon, so yeah. Well, I just finished getting ready. Basically, what I want to ask for is to make my layers lighter, because when I cut it myself and I messed up, I cut like a lot from my hair to cut it, so it was only like this much of regular length or something, and then the rest was a layer, like one singular layer, so... It looks really bad. Don't cut your hair at home unless you actually know what you're doing because I did not know what I was doing. And also, um, tell your parents. Don't get in trouble. From the front, I think it looks good. Like, I like how it kind of, like, frays out and stuff. But it's just, like, the back. I don't know. I feel like it's... The back is too long. Like, there needs to be something happening. I don't know. And I just did very light makeup. And I want to show you guys my fit because I really like it. So I'm wearing this shirt. It's like cream and then this is navy. And I'm wearing these Emil jeans with these shoes. I got some 84s, guys. Now we're going to head over to the salon. So, I'm here with Kylie, uh, I'll put her socials on the screen. Is it okay if I do that? Yeah, of course. Okay. Socials on the screen. Oh. <laughs> it's a camera. I don't know, it's so tiny. It's like whipped it out. <laughs> okay, what do you want to do? So I got my hair cut and I love it so much. So thank you, Kylie. Um, but now we just parked at the nail place. But right next door is Japanese food. So we're gonna eat first and then get our nails done. I'm not gonna do like acrylics or anything. I'm just gonna paint over them. This is, I don't know if this is just like eating as part of a glow up, but treat yourself. Okay. We just left the nail salon and these are how they turned out. So I was gonna do like the glittery stuff, but then I think it was like an extra $15. So I just was like, that's good. So I just got, it's like a light pink. It's really natural and I, I like natural.
so we went thrifting. I'm gonna give you guys a little haul. For me, I love thrifting, so. Uh, right now we're at Starbucks. I'm gonna order right now. We have caramel ribbon crunch. Frappuccino? Frappuccino. Again, treat yourself. Okay, so I literally just got home and it's already four and we left the house at like nine. So I still wanna keep this whole thing going and not get lazy right now. I'm gonna take my dog on a walk, actually. Hey. Because exercise, you know, exercise. Okay, so we just got back from walking my dogo, but now I'm going to show you guys a little thrift haul. So, I went to two places. Uh, I went to Goodwill, and then I went to Salvation Army. So, this is what I got at Salvation Army. But at Goodwill, I got, like, one thing. But look at this. So, it's, like, this car, and then it has, like, a heart on top. But next... I'm gonna show you what I got at Salvation Army. Here is one of the items. This is funny, but I was listening to one of their songs before I went thrifty. Then next, I actually got this for my brother because um, my brother didn't want to go thrifting, but I was like, he'll probably like this. And I texted him and he liked it, so. I got this shirt. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It's like aqua marine type stuff. Next thing I got is a jacket and I got this uh, vintage Hollister jacket. This is what it looks like. It's a plain gray. Uh, we have two more pieces. I got this shirt. I don't know why I love this shirt so much. This is Erpustali. It's like a v-neck, but I think it looks cool like with baggy jeans and these shoes. And then lastly, it's like, I don't know what to feel about it, but I think I like it. Okay, this reminded me of like the Carhartt Detroit jacket it's very similar though and i switched it up this is like a hunting brand this is what it looks like i just thought like the pockets like this were very similar to like the carhartt jackets so it's kind of big too i i like it it's oversized and i like the bottom that is what i got at goodwill right now it is currently 534 5 5 oh four i cannot read clock right now it's currently five <sighs> right now it's currently 4:35, and i'm gonna do my skincare because i'm not going anywhere else today and i haven't really been consistent with my skincare recently okay so i'm now obviously in the bathroom do you have any bobby pins maybe oh i do cool okay some bobby Ugh. i look like a chicken right now honestly first things first and wash my hands i feel like Skincare is such a huge part of self-care. Thankfully, I got sent some products to try out from Stylevana. If you guys don't know, Stylevana is a Korean skincare company that has a variety of different skincare companies. They sent me six products to review, and I'm really excited because I remember during quarantine, I was like always on Stylevana. So I just think it's kind of funny now how they sent me some products. Yeah, we're just going to start, and I'm going to tell you guys each of the products and I've actually been using some of these and trying them out to see if my skin likes them and you do. So starting off with cleansing my face, this is the one I'm using and as you can see I've been using it. This is Hygie, I don't know how you say that, Hygie. Their pH Hyaluron Gel Cleanser. I really like this cleanser, this is a very nice like gentle everyday cleanser. It's like a hydrating cleanser. This one does a really good job of taking off like light makeup too. Obviously it's not going to take off super heavy makeup, for that you will need like an oil based cleanser. I use this on my days where I don't wear makeup or if I wear really light makeup like today. It doesn't like tingle my skin and I wear this in for like a minute or like 30 seconds. Cool! So. All that is off now. Next, I have toner. This is funny because I've been wanting this specific toner for the longest time, but I was like, oh, I don't know because I don't know. I just never got it. I was too lazy to actually get it. This sent it to me and I'm so happy. This is the Isn't Tree Green Tea Toner. And this one is like a pretty popular one. Green tea is an amazing ingredient. So it's like, a, like a, oh, 
Oops. It's like a brownish kind of color. And then I just use my hands. If you have like really sensitive skin, this is good. And then it's not scented either. Next, we're gonna move on to a serum. So I actually got sent two serums. Um, I got sent the Madagascar Centella Ampule. And then the Num Namuzin. I don't know how you say that. I'm really sorry. Deep Sleep Mask Serum. Um, I like using this one at night, and then I use this one in the daytime. It's deep sleep, so I kind of like use it at night. But you can use it in the morning, too. This one's a pretty popular product as well, but this is 100% Centella. So if you guys are not familiar with the ingredient Centella, again, a calming kind of ingredient. And I really like Centella. This one feels super soft on the skin too. But yeah, it just leaves my skin feeling like, just like glides. Um, I like it. So I use that one in the morning to kind of prep my skin like before makeup and stuff. And then at night, like I said, we use this one. So you always want to make sure you don't touch your face. All right, put it on. Yeah, this one's also really light and I also have like glass skin right now. So this is pretty sick. And then after that, I moisturize. But I also want to talk about this. This is a sunstick. This is the Make Prime Airy Light Physical Sunstick. So this is a very, very easy application. And I'm not going to put it on right now, obviously, because it's nighttime. Basically, like, you just go like that. And it's, I mean, it's so easy. And then you can put this, like, on the go, like during the day, if it's been like three hours and you need to reapply. And it's not just like a sun stick just to be a sun stick, but like it actually has good ingredients in this. But then after all that, they sent me this one. This is the Sioris Bring Back Memories Hand Cream. I'm just gonna moisturize my hands. It was a lot. But this one, oh. This one, it smells kind of nice too. It doesn't have like a really strong scent. I love hand creams. I go everywhere with a hand cream. This is the end of my skincare. Uh, thank you, Style Mama, for sending me all of these amazing skincare products. I also have a code, so it's up on the screen somewhere, but you can use that code to get the moolah off. I'm gonna go change my pajamas real quick. guys so we're on my bed now so i actually went to cotton on a few weeks ago and i picked up this book and this is what really like inspired me to make like a glow up video it just says digital detox on it and also it was in like the five dollar section so like people were writing on it i am really excited to open this i've only read like a few pages and i haven't started yet because i wanted to start when i started my glow up I decided to do a simple one, which is read a book. I want to start off easy with myself. And then it also has like this really cute thing on the side if you want to draw. Okay, I don't know if you guys have seen my creating your dream life video for 2023. It's on this side. I really hope it's on this side, but I think it's on this side. But I completed this book, which I love so much. This is called A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And my friend Brendan got me the second book for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to read this one and I'm going to set a goal for myself for how many pages I'm going to read. Right now I'm on page four. So I'm going to say like 28 because then it like cuts off two pages. Pages. All right, let's roll. Okay, so I just finished to page 28 and that took me a long time. I don't know why I did. But it's pretty good so far. I mean, it's starting off like kind of slow-ish, but it's not bad. It's kind of like just recapping what kind of happened in the last book. We're gonna go back to this book and write about it. This is kind of like a reflection thing. Oh, today is the 18th. Okay, so what I did basically is just like a quick little review and then it says dot slash reflections. So I did one with a T talking about my thoughts and then 
another person are talking about the reflection. My thoughts are starting off slow-ish, kind of just recapping from the first book. And then my reflection is I want to start reading more and I think it is an alternative to being on technology. So really quick, you don't have to write a lot um, unless you want to write a lot. So right now it's 6.40 and I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night. I'm not going to be on my phone too much. I'm going to eat, spend time with my family, stuff like that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this glow up. Bye guys. Bye.